give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rakaburash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, to the Akim, the sincere brothers and sisters who are listening, to the hopeful elect, greetings and blessings to you. We are the Hebrew Israelites, GMS, the branch of Las Vegas, the city, okay? with the kingdom, we're here to prophesy the destruction, the downfalls, uh, the, over, uh, the overthrowing throwing of this wicked place, this wicked society, okay? And uh, we're here to also warn our people that the time uh, that is coming to the earth is the time of like never be seen before on the planet earth, and it's, it, uh, it is your best interest for the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, especially the, those that are scattered amongst the other nations, to repent, just to come back to your Heavenly Father, whose real names are Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? Who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay, those are the real names. Those are the only names that we are supposed to call on in the day of trouble, okay? We got a lot of things to talk about, Okay, there's so much, so many things going on in this world right now, right? So much, so much uh, uh, bloodshed. Okay, so many uh, evils that are happening in the world right now. Okay, and and we've seen many visions, just like the prophets of old. Okay, we've seen the visions of what's coming to America. Okay, because it, it's America is the is the place that that the Lord is saving for last. Because this is the this is where all this is the hub of wickedness, okay? And our people are knee deep in it. So our people are gonna catch that that last uh, ass woman that is coming to the earth. It's coming for our people mainly, right. okay? I don't know if that makes sense. Second Ezra 15:1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. The words of prophecy that the Lord has put in the mouth of the servants and prophets since the world began, right? To warn Jacob and his sons, the sons of God, right? The sons of God, the Israelites. Nowadays, nowadays uh, the, uh, this is the final, the final showdown, basically, the, the final uh, judgment that's coming to the earth. The words of prophecy, what? What's coming to the earth? Famine, okay, wars, pestilence, okay? Major judgments are coming to the earth. And cause them to be written in paper, where they are faithful and true. Right, every one of these prophecies has either happened already, it's happening, and it's gonna happen. The Lord is not a liar, okay? Most high man, our God is not a it's not a man that he should lie. He said he's gonna do it, it's gonna happen. Okay? Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Right. Before they spring forth, before Jacob's trouble comes, he's telling you about it. Okay? Before World War III comes, he's, he's already telling you about it. Why? He told you about uh, 70 AD. He told you about all the other captivities. Okay? World War I, World War II. And now we're in the process of, t of him telling you through his mouthpiece about what's coming. Okay? If I may say, when you, when you look at it from a big perspective, most I pretty much gave the rundown and the layout of the world stage through a, a, multiple, a, a multiple millennial phases. Okay. You think about all the empires, the major empires that ruled, they came and went, and all the captivities that Jacob fell up under, that covered thousands of years in history. And the Lord was accurate with, with each, each uh, 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 event, each prophecy. Now we have the final uh, uh, empire that's getting ready to be taken down. And the Lord already called that from the beginning. He saw the, he, Daniel saw the end of, uh, of America. Ezra saw the end of America. All right. John, John. John saw the end of America. Oh, Yahweh Joel. Shai, Joel, all these different, all these prophets of old, they all saw the end of, of this 
this last, uh, the last beast, all right, which happens to be the people who rule the world right now, all right? You can't, you can't, you can't win against that, man. The Heavenly Father, he pretty much, he, he, he wrote everything, all right? So you can't go against that, because you're, you're subject to what's written. This whole empire is subject to what the Most High already purposed. It's the Lord's movie, man. Yep. Yep, that's right. Yep. That's, that's facts, man. That's why, it, like I said before, it is it is the time where where the doors of mercy are being opened unto our people, okay? Because there's a remnant, all right, that is that is uh, written about in scriptures that's going to repent and come back to their power, okay? But we also got to we got to bring out the, the prophecies against our people of what's going to happen to them because they refused. They refused to open that to answer that call, right? They refused to answer the call. They rejected the call. They forwarded the call. Okay. So in that process, you're going to get you're going to get swept. You're going to get that flood that's coming to the earth via a uh, fire. Okay, that be that flood that this time is gonna be fire. Right? You're gonna get you're gonna get caught in it. We took the missiles. Missiles. Thermonuclear missiles. Thermonuclear destruction, man. The Lord didn't create these missiles for nothing. You know, all these nations got these nuclear missiles. You know, that's that's for the end of Babylon, man. America the Great. America Babylon the Great. Yeah, that's facts, man. And we see uh, <coughs> what's boiling down over there in Iran with uh, Israel and those uh, other countries over there. We just uh, got the news, right, that the Iranian president crashed, his helicopter crashed or whatever, which we know there's no accidents. That was no accident, okay? That's that's only to uh, the Lord is mustering up the, 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 the battle, man, the, okay? It's, that's the most high working. He's okay? stirring the pot. He's stirring the pot, okay? Provoking these nations to go up against each other, man. Okay? We see the, we see the, civil, <coughs> the civil unrest that's brewing here in America, okay? We see these, these different factions, uh, uh, Forming of uh, militias and and, and and talking about overthrowing and, and, and sedition. Okay, we see all the chaos that's brewing here in America. It's a time bomb. It's a ticking, uh, a ticking bomb, man. Hey, when that news came out, San Francisco, see the video about it. Yeah. Right. So have to take focus on that. Yeah. So everybody uh, focus else. on yeah. World War Three. Yeah, that was happened at the same same time, pretty much. It's, about, no, I'm saying you were saying uh, that a policy came out at the same time with the... Yeah, somewhere. Uh, at the same time, what happened? Assassination. Iran. Right. Yeah, I don't remember focus on the major, right? Uh, just moved. Yeah, that just happened. Right. On the world stage. Yeah. Yeah. That got... Uh, verse 3, back in 2nd Andrews 15 and um, 3. Matter of fact, if I can go first, this is Amos chapter uh, 3. I'll start at the top. It says, Hear, the, hear this word that the. Uh, Amos, uh, yeah, Amos, uh, Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Only you have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for your iniquities. And after you said that uh, Jacob be punished, you know, with this uh, in captivity here in America, but then also uh, uh, at the end of the prophecy of the, uh, World War III, that's going to pass, Jacob be punished by trouble. Jacob's trouble, right? And then it then jump down to seven, it says, uh, Matter of fact, when we start up at five, uh, six, it says, Shall a, tra a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Uh, yeah, shall the prophets are the trumpet. Yeah. 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 Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Right? We see growing up, 
that these things are coming to pass, the prophecy in there, as he said they would, and they're happening, right? It says, uh, surely the Lord Yahweh, power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Right. So we have the secrets of the things that are coming to pass. We have the prophecy, we have the understanding that these things must come, and we're seeing them happen. Why aren't y'all preparing yourselves? Talking about you so-called Negro Latino the Native American from the children of Israel. Why aren't you uh, preparing yourself spiritually to uh, against the day that's, that's to come? Right. Right. That's because uh, the vast majority of our people have been blinded. Okay? They've been blinded by the enemy and they gotta they gotta pay with their own blood. Okay, for for what they for rejecting the Lord. Uh, when he came to the earth, okay? Remember, we gotta remember what it's written and what they said. Yeah. Let this man's blood be upon us and upon our children, okay? They, they killed the prophets, all right? They did so many abominations, and they, and they are only waxing worse and worse, okay? Like the scripture says, it's from the time that the Lord brought us out of the land of Egypt, our fathers wax worse and worse. How much more now that we're in, uh, in this in the most wicked place to ever be uh, be created in the planet Earth, which is America? Okay, our people are total degenerates. They are unrecognizable. Okay. Uh, so tied into all of this that you're saying. Prophecy coming to pass, World War III coming to pass, and our people's captivity getting out of it is coming to pass. But the judgment has to come to two thirds, but the elect gets salvation. That's how um, we get out of this captivity. So this is Joel uh, 3, verse 1. Uh, For behold, in the days and in the time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will turn, turn away or turn away from captivity. He says, uh, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat that goes into what we see and even that uh, Iranian president has assassinated and he's keep marking off the Middle Eastern military figure after the Middle Eastern figure. But, but as this is happening, the Lord is just to stir uh, the, 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 the spirit of war in the world. Spirit of war. I think that's a part of the New World Order agenda. We're trying to uh, have Islam go against Judaism. Yep. That's, that's one of their main focuses. Focus, focus, you know, religion. They have, because those are the top two religions, yeah. and they have to come down to a one world religion in the NWO anyway. So the, the war has to be fought. It's part of their uh, depopulation yeah. agenda. And, too. and that's the secret part that they're not telling them, right? It says, um, bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will lead them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and have parted my land. So he said that to put it all perspective, this is this is coming past and everybody is tying everything up to where the world is going to be fighting in the Middle East and that fertile crescent area of the Middle East, Middle East and at the same time will be so called equal to the Native American. Israelites, you'll be given out of captivity in this time, but the judgment's coming with that World War III. Right. World War III. Because we also got the reports and articles, you know, about UN troops uh, being <coughs> deployed all throughout America, okay, secretly, behind the scenes, okay, these are so-called uh, peacekeeping troops, which they do anything but bring peace. That okay. some of the UN troops probably here have to cross the border as so called migrants. And so these these uh, military military personnel that is being brought into America is being brought in so that they bring they restore order out of chaos. Okay? They're gonna be the ones to restore the order out of chaos. Well how do you restore order out of chaos? By bringing more fucking chaos, <laughs> you know, more, more power, more chaos. Uh, when you bring down that, that hammer, <laughs> and we we know America is known as the hammer of the earth. 
Second is it's a six.